Just like that, you get it in under the wire. Off a turn number four, we're green. Sawyer Phillips leads him down the front straightaway to the top of turn number one. Ian Madsen out to the outside as they battle for the lead in turn number two. Brian Brown right through the middle. Here comes Tyler Grunendike, three wide for the lead down the back straightaway. Who's going to have it to turn three and four? It's going to be Ian Madsen. Look out, Grunendike just went around right in the middle of traffic. Collects one, two, three in the process. Look out. Trouble in turn number four. Madsen's going to swing it wide to try to catch the cushion. Phillips right to the middle and now brings it to the high side. McCarl's going to sink down to the bottom. Terry McCarl's going to get the race lead to turns one and two. Now here comes Brian Brown as they bolt to the back straightway. Everybody, though, chasing Terry McCarl. Brian Brown out of the inside of Ian Madsen. He'll slide up across turn four to take the fourth spot. Here comes Ian back to the inside, side by side with Brian Brown. Down the front straightaway. They short, boy, they chop each other right there going into turn one. Brownie across turn one to the cushion. He'll take the spot in turn two. Boy, it looked like they were going to compare bumper manufacturers for a second as Ian Madsen and Brian Brown crosses up Madsen back around the KC General Store number 21 now set sights on the 3P of Phillips, but oh, by the way, Brown's back. He's going to look down the inside of 20 with the line. Brian Brown takes the position back as he's going to run in fourth. Into turn three, this time out of turn number four for the seventh time in 360 competition at Knoxville Raceway. Terry McCarl will go to victory lane. Ian Madsen comes home second, Seth Bergman third, Sam Hayford deep fourth, and Tim Canning rounds out the top five.